Hey guys, it's Le- <laughs> welcome to that's not why you called episode twenty five. Oh, so awkward. More um, awkward intros because I again didn't charge the thing that has the intros on it. And I'm using OBS to stream it, and OBS's scene features are not um, are not what they could be, and so yeah. Yeah, that's a thing. So we're episode 25, right? I got that right? Yep. 25. Right. 25, 25. And now... Coming up on half of a year mark, technically, if you use numbers alone. But we're getting... I think we've already passed a year of actually doing this. Have we? Because I think episode I think two was... Late the, December. Yeah, because episode... Yeah, we might have a couple more days. But episode two, mm-hmm. I don't remember... I don't ever forget episode two. That was the 21st of December... Uh-huh. I was in California at the time visiting family, and internet went out. And episode two was where Lefty was alone, mm-hmm. and it was a D-bag. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we're coming up on close. Uh, by the way, Woody just messaged me asking you uh, to put Mark in kickasscrew.tv. I don't think Woody realized that we were doing a show. And also, we're so, live. We're live, Woody. We're live. We're live. <laughs> First, well, he plays Minecraft during PK. And now oh my God! I'm, I'm, I'm stealing <laughs> freaking his uh, boogie's bit. So yeah, that that conversation may have showed up. Uh, there wasn't okay, anything. Francis. <laughs> yeah, boogie's gonna file a content ID claim against me. Ooh. Well, he can. It's pretty damn easy nowadays. Right. And that's the f- that like they pl- you, you don't even have to yes this is me give me the advertising revenue from this video because I say so and Google's like or YouTube's like okay uh, we get to watch Chiz admitting put put him in Chiz God damn it I, I'm doing it I'm doing failure it. I'm doing it and we're done so tell Woody interrupt to the show too Minecraft will you tell him I don't I'm not on anything any kind of form of communication device to say it's done. <laughs> We're good. Uh, Drop it from here. So, Lefty, what is the IP of Woodycraft? What? What is the IP of Woodycraft? Uh, Twitch.tv slash Lefty643, where you can find the live episodes of, of That's Not Why You Called. You know what? Because Woody didn't buy... PKA is, is like primarily <laughs> Woody's show, so he can do that, but he doesn't get any free advertising here. He doesn't get any. Woody, if you want me to advertise a PKA, the, 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 the Minecraft server, you got to pay me. At least a quarter. Pay me, of, bitch. Yeah, give me my money. Pay that man his money. <laughs> so, um, yeah, twitch.tv slash lefty643 is where you're at right now. But if you're watching this on YouTube, you're like, hey, I'd really like to see that's a why you called live. I want to see what that's like. Well, you can come to uh, twitch.tv slash lefty643 Thursday, 7 p.m. Central Time. And that's where the live shows are. And if you come 30 minutes early, 6.30 p.m. Central Time, there's subscriber-only chats. And you can subscribe for four ninety nine. It's totally worth it. So, yeah. Yeah. I think I, I want to find a game to... Chiz just did. A whole lot of people just resubscribed. Yep. So thank you to everybody that's done that. Thank you to Chiz. You're welcome. Because uh, I don't Chiz want Lefty to. to starve to death. Nope. He needs... No. Well, YouTube, uh, my my network and YouTube are giving me the old fist in the bunghole, so um, got to find some other, uh, find some other, the fist in the. Yeah, you know, that's you don't like no, that. no. Like the, well, technically, it, technically, it's like this. Stop. And then, and oh, yeah. no, oh, you would know. It's like this. Is that how that works? I've been on it's... the internet. Oh, so that's what you do all day. <laughs> no. Okay. Watch his fisting videos. Like I, I watch for <laughs> technique. What I do, if I you watch and I judge me. technique. <laughs> Okay. okay. Do you and have I try those to... little cards. Like, no. The... no, 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 no. I like, Are you like I... John Madden. Are no, you like I shout. Right, scribbling? exactly. I shout cast <laughs> the fisting porn. <laughs> no, you see there, right there, right there. The, the right there is, is a fist in the short. butthole. Okay. Brett Favre okay. would have thrown the no, Brett Favre. Brett Favre would have put his hand like this, but no, he did it like this. And you're not going to get any penetration going like that. Mm-hmm. No, Brett Favre. You don't just you don't just go punching people's buttholes, kids. It's not how it's not how it works. You gotta you know you know you gotta work it in there. A oh normal boy. member of society knows the technique, all right? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, Hunt287 uh, Hunt just subscribed? Really? Did I miss yep. that? Well, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the Dog Pound. We got fun and games. Woo! Woo! Woo. I need to get... I need. We, we need an actual... We need that instant replay two machine so that I can have the Ric Flair woo on here and just be clicking and go woo! And then I'll get flagged for content. 
<laughs> and we're only going to get there if you subscribe. We're only going to get there if you subscribe, if you like, and if you favorite. That's the only way we're going to get there because we're not going to get there through video views. No, so, YouTube is dead. That's <laughs> yeah, dead as dicks. That's uh, that's what we're what we're going to do. But I want to kick off the show talking about Chiz because uh, you uploaded a video three days ago now. No, called I Cold Reboot. Videos. I watched I don't it. Do videos. I watched it. I did. Okay. And uh, well, the, the Cold Reboot. Which which came first? There was a one where you announced your intentions, and then Cold Re- Cold Reboot Two was the first action video. Day one. Oh okay. Um, oh Cold Reboot, and then there's Cold Reboot Day One, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Chiz is making a triumphant return to YouTube, at least for the time being, until he gets bored of it. But he's trying to uh, he's he's putting himself through a self inflicted boot camp of sorts. And uh, how's that going so far? Good. I like it. Twi- or uh, YouTube.com. <laughs> YouTube.com. That's what you should do. You should live stream workouts. I honestly debated. Like, I talked to people about this. Like, because um, YouTube, well, one, first the affiliate thing came up. Mm-hmm. And factor in the sub box is not working 50% of the time and just shit like that. I was like, has anyone just made, like, YouTube content edited like not a re-upload of something, but edited something like a show and then broadcasted it as if it was live onto Twitch mm-hmm. and then tried monetizing it through there. Because I debated doing that because I'm more active on Twitch than YouTube, at least before I started doing it, and Twitch works. Mm-hmm. So I was wondering about that. But yeah, uploaded video every day of the week. One just went live like an hour ago. So you've been uh, So you've been working out trying to... Get back into the saddle of a of a diet. How's that? How are the workouts going? The workouts are good. I mean, I like walking and stuff, and it does get tiring. Mm-hmm. Uh, all of the strength related stuff, push ups, balls, heavy things hurt. My stomach still hurts for some reason. So that's mm-hmm. core stuff, I guess. But yeah, it's it's good. I get out in the morning, walk two two and a half miles, bike stuff like that mm-hmm. for the cardio. Strength stuff. I'm very weak. You haven't gotten robbed yet. You haven't gotten robbed. I have not gotten robbed yet. But I mean, you know, it's. You should really think about not bringing your camera on your walks. I think if I bring it, but I only pull it out in in very populated areas, like from my house. I'll. That's why I don't do. I the first day one, you mm -hmm. see me walking at the beginning, and then in the middle, I don't do that anymore because that's where I'll get mugged. (laughs) <laughs> so that's why the next one is near a fucking shopping center and mm-hmm. I'm outside of a Petsco and there's light out there. So mm-hmm. I only do it in safe areas. But unfortunately, because of the area I live in, I don't get to listen to music or anything because mm-hmm. I don't have earbuds I can hide. Ah, uh, okay. Because yeah. I was about to say, if your net- or if your <laughs> network, if your <laughs> if your well, I guess it is a network. Like your if your your subdivision or wherever you live is like yeah. kind of a network of sorts. But if your area is any is half as bad as you make it out to be, you should definitely not be bringing electronics out. Like, yeah, especially when I'm in no physical condition to avoid being mugged. Yeah, well, it's, especially after walking, it's like I'm defeated. Well, I don't know what kind of physical condition you need to be to avoid being mugged, though, because unless well, you're like running, a Navy SEAL, well, running. Oh, okay. that's the one I thought. But of. if they've got a gun, you're not. Well, then there's running. no running or physical thing. Mm. It's just here's the camera. You know. Yeah. You can have my water bottle too. If you really want it, you're setting insult to injury at that point, though. <laughs> you're like, but I'm really tired. Please, I'm, <laughs> I'm out of breath. Thirsty. All right, you've already done mugging. Do you really want to add attempted murder by taking my water bottle? Mm-hmm. That's right. So you're gonna stick with this now. What inspired you to uh, to go on with this whole cold reboot thing? Not only not only um, um, doing it, but bringing it to YouTube and and bringing it back and being like, I'm gonna upload to my YouTube channel again. Uh. Because I don't think I want to do, like you, I don't, I wish I could do Let's Plays, but I just, with everything YouTube's doing, it's a no, and then two, it's just, I'm not, I've never been a Let's Play channel, and it's a hard switch, so it wasn't going to get views anyway, Mm -hmm. but I just did gameplay commentary, so why not just do it in a vlog format, so that's what I was going to do anyway, Mm -hmm. debated coming back, and forcing myself to make a video every day doing it keeps my ass in line and actually having to go work out until I get to that point where I want to Mm -hmm. work out. So it's keeping my own ass in line. Hmm. And I was inspired by the FPS boot camp videos. Oh, that's good. That is good. Mm -hmm. I'm going to lift heavy things (laughs) like a car. That's what I'm going to do for day 30. I'm going to bench press a car. 
Yeah, it'll be a Toyota there. <laughs> a Toyota is still pretty <laughs> pretty heavy. Just because uh, I may cars in it. general. <laughs> Yeah, cars in general, kind of heavy. Tend mm. to be, tend to, yeah, they tend to be pretty. Maybe heavy. I just push it. I, I really wanted to do that. I wanted to just drive to a secluded parking lot. But like I said, I'm in an area all around, like the city, so I don't know what secluded parking lot I want to go to where me, I'm pushing a car that's in manual. Mm-hmm. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mute a few things. Hold on, just a sec. All right. Uh, I was getting some random crackling. I don't know what that's from. Uh, I think it was from the Google Hangout because that's when it about started, right? It's, when Chiz, what? it's only yeah, when Chiz it was talks. When he was talking. You don't hear it when I talk. No. Okay. So it's probably from the Google Hangout, but we'll see if that works. Um, but yeah, we should be we should be good now. I apologize. Bare fingers. Nope, we're not. Never mind. I don't even know. Fuck Google. Fuck it. <laughs> why? I don't know why it does it. No clue. Why do you suck? Yeah, right? And everything Thanks, they Google. do and is uh Thanks is, Google. Like Gmail, good. Although kind of getting stupid with the social thing because it's like, hey, let's integrate your Gmail with Google Plus. You don't like it, fuck you. But um pretty much everything else, bad. Just kinda kinda bad. Kinda kinda pretty bad. But I guess there's nothing you can uh you can really do. So I type something to think about for later. Uh, oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, we Boom. can do that. Science. Good call. Consider. Right and now I have two webcams. You do. So that would so work. So you can see me, and then the stream gets the C920. Yes, they get 1080p. I get... Well, no, they no, no, no. no, they get 720, because I'm, no. the, the sh- I'm not streaming out the show in 1080. Cause it looks works. really sharp. Like it's 720, but it looks really sharp on this. There. This webcam is it's nice. It's like I don't even know how Microsoft continues to justify charging just ten dollars less than what Logitech does for this webcam. Because I think for those of you that that are wondering, I have the Logitech C920 webcam, and I have the Microsoft Live Cam Studio, which is supposedly the biggest and baddest webcam that Microsoft makes, at least for consumers. Um, and the Logitech webcam just blows it out of the water. It just absolutely yeah. just destroys it. But they're both similarly priced, which mm-hmm. is odd. And usually, obviously, if you're a free market economist, you would think, well, at some point, people would figure out that they're not getting the same performance out of the Microsoft Life Cam as they would for the Logitech C920 for just about five, ten bucks more. But no, Microsoft is still like, yeah, sixty nine ninety nine for the Life Cam HD webcam, which is only a five megapixel webcam that does seven twenty barely, it uh, at barely thirty frames per second. Sometimes not even that. It can't even maintain that. It cannot do 1080p video at more than 15 frames per second. And But the, then there's a Logitech C920, which is a 15 megapixel webcam, and does full 1080p at 30 frames per second. Yeah, I should have jumped on that deal <clears throat> when you did. I didn't because I had a, I have a C910, and you know it's not anywhere near as good as yours. One, I don't have lighting, but even just comparing it without lighting to mm-hmm. what I see that no one else can, your life cam, it's still better. Like, I get pixelation. I always have. I think it's broken or I dropped it or something, so I should have grabbed a C920. Yeah. Well, it'll Big probably difference. go on sale again. It, probably. Especially as the holidays approach, it'll it'll continue to exactly to go on sale. Go <laughs> Is on that, sale. Don't you feel like... I kind of felt bad when I did it. Why? Because it was very clear why the Logitech C920 was on sale. It's like, here, buy this for your family members, right? And I'm oh, like... Oh, yeah. You bought it for yourself. I want that for myself. I'm going to get it for myself. <laughs> I almost... Some stuff goes on sale. I buy it for myself sometimes. Mm-hmm. It just And I don't even need it. It's just like, wow, that is a killer sale. I have no use for this, but maybe some point down the road I will. Mm-hmm. Like, Especially on hardware stuff. Does this mean that I can buy something expensive for myself? This was forty nine ninety nine. I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you, because Katie wants to buy herself a monitor. Okay. Yeah. What's wrong with that? I want to buy myself a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> but I can do it. <laughs> we just spent four hundred dollars on a mattress, babe. A really freaking nice one. I know, but you can't go around and be like, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna spend two hundred bones on myself." Why not? Because I didn't do that. I could have. Yeah. But I didn't. Yeah. GTX six eighty. I needed that. <laughs> she got a 580 out of it. I, I net, I only spent like 150, 200 dollars. 
<laughs> I needed that. <laughs> I did. I could justify a monitor expenditure for myself because what? my business is made oh with computer Lord. components. You, on the other hand, <laughs> but, okay, that's so, a luxury expenditure. Yeah, that I worked hard for the money to get that. <laughs> she works hard for the money. You do work <laughs> really? hard for the money. <laughs> so, so hard for I the think, money. You know what? You work hard for the money, do you want me to hit and you? I'm going to treat you right. <laughs> All right, I swear to God. but you just Stop. you can't. Ow! She, what, Good. Ow! You deserve that. Wow. All right. You were poking, and you you. Were... I didn't poke. There was no poking. <laughs> None. Not a single poke. Are you a poker? I'm not a poker. Okay. That means you're a puncher. <laughs> Don't make me do it. Do it with an open hand. That'll keep you out of jail. Still yeah. want to monitor. Hit him with a phone book so it doesn't leave any bruising. Wow. Yeah, that's from something, but I don't remember what. Well, it's like that's always a cliche, but if I hit you hard enough with a phone book, you're going to No, bru- it'll leave, Yeah, it'll leave a bruise. It's going to it's going it's going to just be a big bruise. What does hitting somebody mm-hmm. with a phone book actually accomplish? Especially because that laminate stuff, like that's really like if I punch somebody in the face, mm-hmm. I'm not leaving fingerprints on them, but if I hit them with an object, I have to put fingerprints on blah, 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 blah. So if I just well, you can burn the phone book, you can't burn your fist, and yeah, it won't leave fingerprints. But the reason you'd use an object is because it leaves a definitive mm. fist mark on your face. People aren't made of putty; that goes away. Yeah, but the bruise is there for a couple days, and if she's gonna talk, which there you oh, have oh okay, yeah, we're talking about the domestic abuse thing still, yeah, yeah, because then if it's a phone book <laughs> thing, like oh, she just fell, she's drunk all the time. Exactly, fist is hard. Oh, she fell on a <laughs> pull cue. <laughs> a pull ball, sorry, not a pull cue. Wow. Yeah, yeah, that we was... have a fist sculpture, and she fell on it, <laughs> and it. Would, uh... We have a bust of uh, Bobby Kennedy's fist, and she just landed right on it in a drunk it, super. It we have a bust, miniature right? of that stupid thing in Detroit. Wait, did you just downtown. make a pun over there? What did she say, Katie? I just said what? it wouldn't be a bust. Then that's all I said. Oh, is that? Okay, so well, a bust is only over the face. Oh, yeah, I thought like she said something up. like, "There's a point mm. of oh. it bust because bust is another." And so Katie statue. kills the joke when she starts arguing semantics. Thank you. I, and, yeah, I'll just be quiet now. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> she she's right there. She's your girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Can you do something about this? What was the name of that chick that ruined the Beatles? Uh, fucking Yoko Ono, bitch. Katie. Yoko over there. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna start calling you Yoko. Oh, that'll That's go well. I am getting a death glare. You would not believe right now. Oh, I believe it. Like it, I feel like this part of my face feels warmer than this. That's part just of my a universe. You call any woman a Yoko, she knows what it means. That name just has a bad connotation behind it. I'm in Unless so you're much with trouble. someone dumb enough that doesn't know the Beatles, in no, which case, then she no. won't get the reference. No, she's. Uh, is the side of your head beginning angry. to smoke? Yeah, she's. She is imagining doing very bad things to my brain right now. Probably. <laughs> I'm just saying, babe, don't ruin the Beatles. Okay. I was willing to let it. Who slide. was she? Was she if Paul McCartney? She was squeeze? the one that brought it up. Was that? Was that who it was? Was she Paul McCartney's? She was John Lennon's. Oh, John Lennon's. Okay. She's still alive, unfortunately. Yeah. Why couldn't they? Why couldn't have the crazy fan? John Lennon was the one that got killed by the crazy fan, right? Yep. Why couldn't he have gotten her too, or at least her? Yeah, that'd be nice. Ruined the damn. Beatles. Or you could have went for, I don't know, any other Beatle besides George. Actually, just George Harrison, really, because I like Ringo. Mm-hmm. He's still kicking it right around now. He only looks fifty, and I think he's like seventy-five. Ringo's a dick too. Really? Yeah. Well, first of all, he was Mr. Conductor after George Carlin. Oh, okay. On the Excuse on the me. time, but then uh, a couple of years ago, he he came out with like a video on his YouTube page where he he was like he he essentially told everybody stop sending me fan mail because I don't give a shit anymore. Which I guess it doesn't. I mean, I gotta give yeah. props for being honest about yeah. it. Like like really like the Beatles was it was like thirty years ago. Just please stop. There's got to be some kind of reserve or. I'm fuck the words I'm saying. Reserved tension about being in the Beatles back then. Like I remember Paul McC- I think it was either Paul or John said something like, uh, uh, "Is Ringo the best? Uh, is Ringo the best drummer you could have had?" He's like, 
uh, Ringo's not even the best drummer in the Beatles, <laughs> <laughs> which is probably oh! true. <laughs> oh, yeah. But Paul McCartney's my favorite. That's the thing. Like, when we look at it, how good a music- musicians actually were the Beatles? Because I'm not a musician, so I don't know. I'm not trying to condescendingly say, like, oh, the Beatles were actually shit. But, you know, like the Monkees, a lot of those bands that spawned well, after the, the Beatles. T- but they were also but a, But a lot of them were just absolute shit musicians mm-hmm. they weren't they, i mean they could play the poppy blah 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 but the, and, and actual musicians and knowing you know their craft were the beatles actually like really good musicians or were they just kind of like i think so the flip. music was really good mm. and uh the lyrics had some meaning behind them usually mm. whereas something like the monkeys which is a tv band mm-hmm. but they per- they went on tour the monkeys tour yeah. they put out albums I mean, they did a thing. Mm-hmm. They, they did do a thing, but I guess I don't know. I know Paul and John are both well rounded in just about twelve different instruments each, and they can sing. Uh, okay. so, well, they're well rounded also with Cash because they've got. Well, John's dead, Lefty. So well, okay, sorry. Yoko's money. Well, Yoko's got it. Uh, Paul McCartney. Well, they don't even get money off that anymore, right? Because Michael Jackson bought all of the. Uh, Right, he bought the rights to him. But what was Paul McCartney's like? Paul McCartney had a divorce settlement with his wife. Was it in the hundreds of millions of dollars? Oh yeah, they've made a lot of money. I'm and just saying div- they don't make any more royalties off of that. But how much did Michael Jackson had to pay? How much probably to buy that library? That's true too. Yeah, yeah, yeah and that bitch who that. fucking took half the money of Paul McCartney's. Fuck you. She didn't you're, even do anything. You're with a beetle, motherfucker. And Paul McCartney, well, but Paul McCartney like was like, yeah, okay. He's like, yeah, here you go. Here's half of my estate. I don't really care. Here's a hundred some odd million dollars. One-legged bitch. She's one-legged. Yeah. Why does she have one leg? What happened to the other leg? I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> who is Google. The, who is the comedian that did that bit? Oh, uh, he had that show on uh, on Comedy Central about uh, about going out and being drunk all night. He was the short, bald guy. Oh, Dave Attell. David Tell. David Tell. Wow. He did a bit about uh like one armed man or uh or talking about like it started out with a bus station and a guy with one tooth and they started talking about amputees and you always ask, like, everybody that's lost an arm or a leg has a story for <laughs> For well, how they, they lost it, right? Because yeah. like you see a guy, you see a man with one leg, he's always got a story. What's the story there? You ask a man with one leg, he's like, "Landmine sixty nine. You see a guy with one arm, he's got a story too. Snowblower, bottle of whiskey. <laughs> it was a, it was that. a really really funny bit. Yeah, David Tell's got a. He went away. He has telling forever. Yeah, he's just kind of faded into obscurity. I guess he wasn't one of my favorites, but he was funny. Yeah, he was more like just a. I don't want to say toilet humor. B-comic. Yeah, it was. that's what I would say, too. It was more raunchy. Like, he was a more right. raunchy comedian. He didn't really, like, make you think or make any larger points about society. It was just kind of like... Well, Jim Norton is, too, but I'd put Jim Norton leaps and bounds over uh, Dave Attell. Yeah, because Jim I think Norton Jim Norton actually him. tries. Like, Jim, yeah. Jim Norton, like, could probably discuss with you, you know, not the finer the points of things, have... but he, he wants to learn. But, you know... Yeah. But guys... Uh, Jim Norton just put a new special out on Netflix. Mm. It's good. Is it good? Had, yep. He said dick a lot. <laughs> pussy. Nice. Jim Norton. Dick and pussy. That's funny stuff, right? Yeah. Good, funny guy. Good. There's a fine line there for me. I like him a, a decent amount, mm-hmm. and he's pretty raunchy. But other people, like uh, Bob Saget, he's just horrible. Bob Saget tries too hard. That's the thing. He tries too hard. His most recent one, I don't know, I think I've said it on the show. He just he played off the crowd to the point I was getting aggravated like the whole time like yeah you're a, and then he'd say a dick or a pussy thing or whatever and just played off the crowd so much and it was like shit 13 year olds would giggle at it was so mindless yeah you see that like it, it seems that Bob Saget probably has a lot of really good comedy but it just seems that he he likes to focus on the novelty of seeing the 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 upstanding white guy from Full House curse and make dirty jokes, right? Because that was his bit that he played on whenever he was on Entourage. He was on a few episodes of Entourage, 
And he wasn't like trying to be funny. He was just trying to be raunchy and like, haha, I'm, I, I want to fuck this girl on your your yeah. boss's desk. And it's like, okay, well, Bob, that's not really funny anymore. Yeah, it's not funny. So some people hit it and some people, Bob Saginaw, but still, I mean, he people, hit it. Yeah. People line up to see that. They're like, ah, the guy from Full House is cursing. It's like, okay. I really feel like it's pandering to the lowest common denominator, though. Well, there's money to be made doing that. Though. Yeah. I mean, there are many people always give shit to PewDiePie that. for like, oh, PewDiePie and Toby Turner, they, they all appeal to the lowest common denominator of YouTube fans. And then it's like, well, look at what PewDiePie and Toby, like, they're doing something right. I mean, the lowest yeah. common denominator kind of means that you're going to appeal to a lot more people. That's right. That's why. And so that's the whole idea of lowest common denominator. And so they're, they're killing it. Although they they might not be anymore. I wonder how impacted they are by this content ID system. We'll probably talk about that in a bit, or this will probably be a nice segue into it. But um, the, do you think – they had to be, right? Guys like Toby Turner, oh, sure. millions of subscribers. I that, mean, they both do Let's Plays and stuff, so something had to get hit somewhere. And just about – you know, they put out a video, two videos. I don't know how many Toby puts out mm -hmm. uh, a day. So just on – Sure, probability alone, I'm sure they got hit with like at least a hundred. Yeah. You know, it's uh, especially if it's an algorithm based thing. It's not like you can code in an exception. I, I guess you could, but I doubt they would. Like, all right, don't touch these five channels. Yeah, but you know what? If you're running a network, do you um do you do you look at Toby Turner and PewDiePie and do you just say, screw it, you're managed? Oh, because, yeah. Because we'll, well, we'll get into it because it, from what I'm learning, all right, well, let's just j dive into it. But remind me to always to, to circle back to the idea that um, the managed affiliate thing mm -hmm. has to do with content ID. I didn't right. know that. I didn't, I didn't suspect that. I thought we were all subjected to, to the content ID system all the time. But it turns out that might not be the case. For those of you that don't know, last week we talked about, towards the end of the show, a little bit about YouTube changes coming in the form of monetization changes. Which, all right, that's a little bit more, um, I should say, I would say in-depth on the YouTube game, you know? Mm -hmm. So uh, some guy just tweeted me, asked me to know what I weigh. What? You creepy bastard. Uh, how much do you weigh? 100 stones. Oh, what's your shoe size? What's your inseam lefty? <sighs> but um, really I'm getting creeped out. Oh, yeah, I know you should. Well, I'm creeped out. Some, I'm creeped person out. blindly. Who would you weigh? What? Do it in UK measurements. He's five stones. Twelve kuriks. How do I spell Katie Kurik? I'm gonna respond to him. Kurik. I don't know. How do you spell Katie Kurik? How do you how do, the the Kurik. the the South Park bit? How do they do it? I'm gonna say fifteen. <laughs> I'm gonna look in the chat. Somebody's gotta know it. <clears throat> Let's see. For those that don't know, a stone is actually 13 pounds. Hmm. Why the fuck that's a unit of measurement, though, over there? No idea. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure in the departments of weights and measurement, there is a stone that weighs 13 pounds. C-O-U-R-I-C? C-O-U-R-I-C? All right. C-O-U-R-I-C. There we go. One K Kurik equals 2.5 pounds. Oh wow, <laughs> grossly what? underestimated there. Wow, that's all right. That's all right though. But um, skin and bone. <laughs> um, so anyway, well, well, talking about measurements. I mean, when people, when science wasn't really a thing. I mean, when you say you know stone, all right, well, a, a stone of a, you know common granite, about the same size, probably weigh close to the same amount. It's the same but it thing doesn't with make sense because they've got kilograms and stuff like that to also weigh yourself. Well, right, but but this but we're talking about it before science or or before like this like the, the idea of the scientific method and yeah, adhering to it, stuff like that. Because the, the idea of a way. cubit, right? The the idea of the cubit as a as a length to measure things from your elbow to the tip yeah. of your middle finger makes sense if you if you just assume oh yeah but we're all we're all pretty much the same so blah 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 but then you don't realize there's a lot of variation in this in in, mm -hmm. in humans and then you realize oh crap you know if a doorway is supposed to be two cubits wide well shit <laughs> there's a whole Someone's ton not of been through that door right so there's a you know if it's before if it if it predates you know common sci common accepted scientific method and methodology and stuff 
that's uh... yeah, but that shit can go away now. Like they've adopted the metric system, mm -hmm. they can get rid of the well, fucking stone. How many people are weighing things in stone still? I hear people from England all the time say that oh, I weigh six stone. I watched a TV show that was in the England, and they weighed that. It was like a weight loss thing or whatever, some kind of challenge show, and it's like. She weighs five stones. He weighs eight stones. I'm like, well, fuck. Now I got to do math. And that's it's 13. And I Are said you sure that's not just like an, I don't know, maybe it's just an inside joke or something. I don't know. That's a bad thing to have an inside joke for a TV show and you're using the inside jokes <laughs> as a unit of measurement. Or maybe just, you know, uh, the Queen's English or uh, what's the other one? What's the other dialect? Cockney? Is that it? Yeah. Well, that's a dialect. But, but I'm just talking about just colloquialisms. You know, we have colloquialisms yeah. that we use to refer to other things. All the the South. Time. Yeah. Boston. 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 So, I don't know. I, th I think it's, you can still have some. What did I say? I said. Stones. Yeah. I think I said you weighed eight stones, which is 24, 104 pounds. There you go. That's the nice. That's less than me. Nice. Good job. That's what I well, poop he's doing good for himself. That's what I poop out in the morning. But anyway, for those of you that wow. <laughs> last week we talked about about content ID system or not content about monetization changes, and um, and this week there have been a whole slew of um, of content ID matches, i.e., uh, copyright claims uh, levied against gaming channels on YouTube. And it's have you been hit by this, Chiz? And what it is is that uh, YouTube has an has an automated system in which uh, people that have large companies that have copyrights that 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 would are likely to appear on YouTube submit portions of their work, and YouTube's algorithm takes them and and then uh, uh, starts looking for replications of that uh, whatever that source material is. And if it's found on your video and you don't have proper licensing, um, there's two ways that YouTube can go about messing with you they can shut down they can just take down the video just take it remove mm -hmm. it uh from from circulation or they can put ads on it or if there already ad are advertisements on it divert that ad revenue uh to your to or, or to the to the proper proper copyright holder whoever claimed it yeah uh how do i check well the the email associated with your youtube account oh well, fuck should um should show that or if you go to you go to youtube and go to video manager okay i'll go there instead then there should be uh it should be like on that left left side where you see live events playlist tags shows whatever mm -hmm. there should be if you have some there should be one called copyright notices just go to your video manager and then I will go there right now once I get into the right account. Okay, we're doing this live. We're doing it live. Chiz is Let's checking see. to see if he's been hit by the content YouTube's content ID system. <laughs> All right, video manager. Now, what subcategory is it? I got video man copyright notices. Okay. That means you probably have one. Wow. Oh, shit, you probably got a little. Oh, man. All right, well, some of these make sense. Mm -hmm. But that one shouldn't. All right, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. W only one of my Bioshock one Let's Play got pulled. Episode eight. Just one of those. Okay. Um, I use music. Everything else has music in it. Except, yeah, everything else has music in it, so that's fine. Whatever. But my three karaoke videos that I did a year ago all got hit. Mm -hmm. Were they but taken no, down? No, no. Or? Two of them are acknowledged third-party content, so that was me. And okay. then one just says match third party. So they're there. I don't think they were taken down, though. Huh. Yeah, they're there. Well, they they, they might not be taken down, but they could be. Um, that means that yeah. their their advertising revenue is just diverted. Getting diverted. And um, it could be. It's a huge. It's a pretty big deal um, to YouTubers to have this done. Not only uh, from the from the monetary aspect of having ad revenue, you know, siphoned off to, to other people but um this makes you less less attractive to get a to get a, a contract from d either directly with youtube or other networks if you are looking for um somewhere to go because if you've got if you are what if i delete them if you delete them i uh, that's what i was thinking because i'm like i'm just going to delete the videos because the the you have the option to dispute or acknowledge them and youtube warns you that fraudulent disputes may result in the termination of your channel which fuck oh, you fuck YouTube. That. i'll take them down yeah, yeah. right the i 
Yeah, you, you'll get in trouble if this is a fraudulent dispute, but you can go ahead and fucking claim whatever you want. Yeah, right, and that's the thing. There's no Without downside to claiming things on YouTube, to just go around and trying to be a copyright claim troll. On YouTube, there's no repercussions. This is what we do. I will just file injunctions on all of your videos. Mm -hmm. You will do the same to me. Then we will just PayPal each other, and oh, we're safe. There we go. See, getting around the workaround. I like that. That's a good idea. Oh. PayPal each other sounds... Some of these naughty though it does i will pay in your hey pal. bro can you pay pal me i'll pay your mm, pal bucket of chicken <laughs> <laughs> i'm just gonna save three of these videos and fucking delete them all yeah. that's the case but i don't care the reasoning that you know it's a pretty big deal because uh chiz how many did you see there more than what would you like uh five eight. Ten, eight okay i got hit with with three but let's play channels uh, T. Martin up in the hundreds of videos. Some YouTubers, mm. some big Let's Play channels report having more than 200 videos claimed by YouTube's content ID system. And this, a lot of people were freaking out because this could very well spell the end of gaming-related content on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Just the end. It's the end of it. Not just like, oh, man, you won't do that. No, the end of it. All right. Gameplay commentaries, maybe. Maybe those. But even some of those got claimed. And if that's the case, that is the because people, you know, with the with the change in monetization, some people say, "Oh, is this the end of gaming on YouTube?" The content ID system being so supremely enforced could be the end of gaming, and it's a it's a pretty scary uh, situation, especially when we learn now from um, from certain gaming co corporations that have come out after the fact and said that they were not issuing takedown notice notifications. They were not the ones going to YouTube and saying, "Okay, here are the content for here's the content for our games. Search for this, take down any videos that have it." This was mm -hmm. all done on YouTube. YouTube's yeah. end. YouTube just decided, "Oh yeah, we're going to go out and do this." And we're going to go look for things. And we are going to make copyright claims and divert ad revenue on behalf of people that didn't request us to do so. And that's what we're going to do. And that's we are going to we're right and we're going to mess with YouTube channels and um and screw anybody else that that doesn't like it. And it's just it's like wow. <laughs> you are YouTube, you are that caustic. That caustic. You should be like, "Oh yeah, one day by the way, right to all of you." Cuz we're YouTube and we don't care. They don't care and they got to you know, they need more money. They got to cover their butts. But it, it's just, oh, my goodness. And the whole reason this started was people posting whole video or whole movies to YouTube mm -hmm. and posting songs that people were ripping and, you know, instead of buying it on iTunes. So YouTube lost their shirts in a lawsuit with a lot right. of with a lot of uh, music makers. But now YouTube is actively saying, all right, well, we're going to pass that along to multi-channel networks and individual channels. On video games because we don't want to and it's just it's just it's infuriating how especially because a lot of these gaming corporations have now said hey we like that people do it do let's right. plays of our games on YouTube <clears throat> Ubisoft EA silver uh, uh, quicks no not quicksilver that's a clothing brand deep silver and uh, Activision Blizzard even Activision is coming out of here looking like the good guy because they're like, yes, we love that people make gaming videos using our games. We love that people do Let's Plays. And here's YouTube trying to rip out the hearts of Let's Play channels just on their own. Just, <laughs> yeah, by the way. Mm -hmm. And what it's coming out now, YouTube finally issued a statement two days after the fact because, and I, I you know, YouTube has the worst PR department, I think, ever. And, uh, and they said, we've submitted a uh, uh, um, channels that are labeled as affiliates to the content ID swipe. Mm -hmm. And so this leads me to a question. I always thought that as a partner, even though I'm a partner channel, my videos were always subjected to the content ID system because I couldn't just go uploading songs. Right. They would get flagged. But if this means now that every single video a gaming channel uploads is going to be subjected to the content ID system, if that's the case, that's pretty. That's a big. That's a big, big deal. Mm -hmm. Now it could just be that this is a this was a faulty algorithm application. It could be that that they just didn't they haven't fine tuned it yet because they didn't they haven't you know 
they haven't taught the algorithm like look don't don't go after channels that are part of a network even though they're affiliated but go after people that don't have partnerships that are that are trying to monetize with adsense all this stuff that could be it but if every single affiliated channel is now subjected to content id and the networks because i emailed my network full screen and i sent them a message and I, I wrote out like here's what i've heard here's what have happened here's one of the videos that was claimed it's clear, like this is a this is just a let's play. This is, and I intimate, I was like, it is my understanding that the purpose of multi-channel networks like full screen is to secure licensing for videos exactly like this, so that I don't have to deal with all this stuff. And I want to know what I should do. What blah 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 blah. Well, the first email back was like, yeah, Warner Brothers claimed that. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to, I wrote back, and I was kind of pissed. I'm like, I know that. It I'm, says that. I'm well aware. I know. Yeah, I know how to get there. I'm asking you, what are you going to do about this full screen? <laughs> what is your purpose now if you're not going to do anything? And they just they just blew me off. And they were like, well, there's this and happening and that happening and blah, 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 blah. So multi-channel networks now are a farce. There's no reason to use them other than direct or other than to, to sell advertising for your, for your videos. They don't right. offer you any protection <laughs> if you're a gaming channel. And... Um, and here's YouTube just just going to possibly going to just eat your lunch when it comes to the content ID system. What are, you know, you and me will more than likely just start doing vlogs on our YouTube and then keep gameplay on Twitch. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people are going that course. I know Boogie has said that a bunch of times as well. Right. But what are people like um, GOM, for example, going to do? Like the big only let's play channels that put up like five videos to ten videos a day like the rad brad right those and that's how those i mean rad brad in particular gets so many views he's uh -huh. like the first person up there with a let's play video number one mm -hmm. are they gonna i mean obviously they'll push some stuff to streaming if they can do it if they have that kind of bandwidth but on their youtube channel not like they can switch to vlogs no i don't know what they i don't know what they're gonna do i don't know i think they have to hope they have to hope that this was an overzealous implementation of the content ID algorithm. That it was just the algorithm like wasn't fine-tuned. This was YouTube trying it out because they're going to submit affiliated channels to it. Mm -hmm. And they, they've got to hope that because you can't just start... You can't keep doing Let's Plays because now... Because I'm assuming like right now, the sweep that just happened was retroactive to a couple years. Right. They would go back, you know, because up until now, I thought everybody had subjected to content ID. Apparently not. And so all these videos from two years ago, the whole the in, entire channel's catalogs were gone through. Now, if you continue now forward in, in, in coming in January, if every single video you upload is subjected to the content ID algorithm and you're a Let's Play channel, with how many videos have been already claimed by people, you're screwed. Because mm -hmm. you, you wouldn't even be able to monetize it. You might not even be able to get past the, you know, whatever the vetting process is. Right. I, I don't know. They're screwed. They are, they, are, they are very truly, well and truly screwed. Unless they get, unless they can start, you know, contacting the PR departments of these developers and publishers, maybe, to get express permission to monetize a Let's Play. I guess. Are you going? Are you going to ask now that YouTubers that, shouldn't that? I I would request that my network perform that function because that should be, like, what's the, what the hell is the point of a network now? If I have to be my own copyright attorney, if I have to be my own pitch man, if I have to be my own PR and agent to secure the licensing, what the hell is the what is the network doing? Yeah, you can sell your own ads too. You can do that. You know, right. PewDiePie could. He could just do it all himself. Well, PewDiePie could. PewDiePie, yeah. PewDiePie could call up Pepsi. Be like, all right, do you want a six month deal? Which is why I'm not like, um, I was wondering about Rooster Teeth when all of this happened and stuff like that. I'm like, mm -hmm. where do they fall in it? Because they, you know, they have an entire channel called Let's Play and they put up, you know, gaming videos and then they have their actual Rooster Teeth one. Mm -hmm. But they were smart because they're big enough as a channel and as a company in general that in April, their 10-year anniversary, they were always a part of Machinima's network. They left mm -hmm. Machinima, and they're like, we'll do it ourselves. You know, we, we like keeping it all in-house, and we'll do it, and they're their own ad sales team now and stuff. So they're, And I am guarantee they can get the rights and licensing to post whatever videos they're doing. And if they know for sure they aren't, they just won't do that video. They'll do something else. Mm -hmm. 
So if you're big enough, I'm sure you'll make it. You know, it's if you're starting YouTube now, good luck. You better do vlogs or something. Yeah. Or make your own original Makeup. music and hope that you don't match the tune of some other person's music. Mm -hmm. Well, copyright, copy, music from from sites like Audio Micro that tout royalty and copyright royalty, free music yeah. were getting claimed, and I mm -hmm. I was told by my network where they said, okay, if you see if you see an audio claim on any of your videos in which you've used music from our library. Now, for those of you that don't know, Full Screen provides its partners with an expansive audio library of royalty free songs, and Full Screen says you you can use these songs so provided you 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 meet these simple criteria. You Use these songs in your video and monetize them without worry. It's good and it's awesome. I use them. I use them as soft jazz in my background. They form the beds of uh, of the "That's Not Why You Called" intro and the and the bumps going going or coming from break. And that's where I got a lot of them. Okay, but now full screen says, well, if there's if there are cl audio claims from so, like these specific things, mm -hmm. contact us. That's us. <laughs> We're claiming so it. there's a possibility now that full screen is fucking its own contractors out of money because they they submitted their own audio library under copyright under copyright, copyright and they're taking ad revenue completely from their partners that use them when they gave it to them so and you know well, you, you know that 60 40 split you had well yeah never mind they want it all we Come got you now. got you bitch <laughs> you it, it, and I it took a second because I read the um, I read it uh, as I initially read it. I was very utilitarian. I'm like, oh well, I haven't had any claims from them. No big deal. But then I thought about it. I'm like, wait a minute. There's a ch full screen. Basically, just told me we may accidentally be taking a lot of money from you. Yeah. And anyone else who has used our royalty mm -hmm. royalty free music. I don't know. And that's why I tell everybody, if you're watching this, if you're a YouTuber and you're part of a network and you've got a contract or something, um, if you are now labeled as an affiliate come January 2014, you have to deal with all this content ID, uh, monetization, vetting process, bullshit. Do not. Do not let your network bully you into thinking that you are irrevocably tied to your contract. You don't know. No one is. You're gonna have you're gonna have an option. You'll now have an option in the in your in your YouTube dashboard that you can request to be unlinked from you have your channel unlinked from your from your network. And uh, and full screen, I heard through the grapevine that full screen said, well, yeah, there's that option, but we're just gonna deny everything regardless of how pissed people get. Fuck them. But don't let them think that, or don't let them bully you into thinking that you are not tied to your contract. There is no doubt in my mind that. Well, first of all, I hope you saved your contract, the language of your contract. Request run, request one from your network right now. But you are no longer there. There is no way that this is not a breach of of your contract to to have right. them all of a sudden label you as an affiliate, and now you have to go through this monetization vetting process, et cetera, et cetera. They are all every network is as of January 2014 probably in breach, very egregiously of their contracts. So don't let them try to bully you. And I told full screen a long time ago. I'm like, if you if you keep playing fast and loose. You're gonna get a PewDiePie, or you're gonna get Woody's gamer tag was huge in the COD scene. Then I was like, you're gonna get a Woody's gamer tag, and then you're gonna fuck them, and they're not gonna be me with twenty five thousand, thirty five thousand subscribers. They're gonna be pissed off with a million plus, and you yeah. owe them a hundred, two hundred, five hundred thousand dollars, and they're not just gonna be like, well, I hope you don't do that. They're gonna sue you for a lot of money, and they're gonna win. Mm -hmm. But. I don't know. Don't don't be don't be scared or don't be scared scared. Don't be scared, scared to to if you you know if YouTube's a thing for you, go seek out an attorney and be like, look, here's my contract. They're trying to pull this shit. Blah blah blah. Don't let them. Yeah. Don't let them mess with you. Yeah, they have to issue a new contract. That's what Machinima did when they changed their whole CPM model last year. Everybody, even people who had different contracts, all of them mm -hmm. revoked. Luckily, I'm still on the oldest contract in Machinima's history because <laughs> I refused to sign a three-year contract. Where that is the most poorly written one. Where technically I'm tied forever, <laughs> and you know I, I can get out of it whenever I want to. And come January, I may talk to some friends about stuff they're working on. Uh. You've talked to this friend before. Oh, so yeah. There's yeah. a um, when we say that streaming site has taken over the world, they're looking to go other places, right? Is that what we're talking about? Yep. Got so it. I'll play it by ear there. I'll just sit where I am. Should nothing come of that. I'll probably 
either stick around or go to YouTube directly, especially if I'm just going to do vlogging content. There's really no point. And like yeah. you said, they serve no purpose on my will. No, so. the, the networks are, are completely useless right now because <clears throat> they have they have subjugated themselves. Because they're originally their worth were they had they had two reasons for existing. One was selling advertisements for you. Two was securing licensing what? and protecting you from from YouTube's content ID system and mm -hmm. from and from egregious content claims. Well, now they've they've completely screwed the the second one. They're like, no, deal with it yourself. Good luck. And it sucked because I really like doing gaming and I'd really like to do let's plays. I find let I I, I like doing let's plays. Obviously, the gaming corporations like people doing Let's Plays, but I don't know. I don't see a way around that. I, part of me wishes that, that the disputes I've had will result in my channel's termination because that would be a good enough story that I could start a brand new channel and get a lot of goodwill people promoting it. <laughs> and then I just start a vlog channel, and all of a sudden, I'm the second coming to Boogie on a vlog, like on my own without a what network. What would you call yourself? What would your... Uh, Lefty29888. <laughs> That's me. No, it'd be like, I don't know. Someone who gets profusely less viewers than me just got a sub button. Who me? So, no, not you. You oh, away. one of the oh. one of your just, friends. Just yeah, someone I know. Yeah. They well, got who? Type button. it in the chat. I don't even know who it is. Uh, I, it may ring a bell actually. Someone we used to play with. Uh, I think so. Uh, Maybe may or won't. But profuse a lot. Lower than what I get. Well, so, why don't you subscribe for or right for a second? I was always told there was a number thing, or it was like a consistency thing. But I mean, fuck it. If these people are getting it, I'll just send a. If I got over. one, you can get one. Yeah, but you were killing it, and you still pull good numbers, still higher than me. And you know what? That's the thing too. I wish my. I mean, thank you. I I, I do. I am happy with the Twitch following I have, but I wish. I mean. You know, I know, I know, guys like Gassy Mexican and Eat My Diction are hurting right now, or they're scared. But they've got a they've got a Twitch following that can see them through lean times until this whole until this whole fiasco gets settled out. I wish I had a, I wish I had I don't know a third of their following because that would be that would probably be primo for me, like mm -hmm. just to be able to build off of that. Right, but it's just uh, it's slow going to build it, and I don't know what to stream. It's like, do I play the hot game or do I just stream like me playing a game? Is that I don't need, I don't know. Well, <clears> just get, you, get yourself out there. Well, I need just, a crew too. I talked to Gom. Gom and I are down. Where are you? I'm down. Down for what? Whatever it is, if I have it. All right, well, we got to talk to Gom and we got to play. I haven't talked to Gom in forever, and I feel bad. Gom was really we were really tight. Like you think about, it. I think about where we were a year ago. I had contacted you and just started talking with you again mm -hmm. in around October. I friended Gom around that time, mm -hmm. and I know him, me, and you and me would stay up and talk a long time, and we mm -hmm. were doing collabs. And now it's way different nowadays. We all got different shit going on. But we don't have to because now we got to. We now's the now's the reason more than ever to to do the because the strict let's players. Are, yeah. are going to get hurt. But you know what? I think the guys, like, like you know, I know I mention them a lot, but, like, Gold Glove, Eat My Diction, Gassy Mexican, what those guys do, I, I like to call it, like, a Let's Play hybrid kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Where they don't do single-player Let's Plays. They do a Let's Play of, like, multiplayer games and, and stuff like that. That's still the pr the primo spot to be in because that's probably still safe. Multiplayer Group gameplay play. is probably okay. Yeah. And probably co-op, too. Co-op, yeah. So... Which, by the way, we got to do a Splinter Cell blacklist. We do, thanks to Lefty, I have that game. Mm -hmm. But we've got to, um, we got to, we got to figure that out. So let's do it. You, me, Gom, we'll start the crew. Who else is in? Who else can we go? No, I'm not doing that because a lot of people. That's gift territory. People gift that. Yeah. No, yeah, I'll do this one, <laughs> but not this. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Not doing it. Send your hate mail to at Dr. Chiz. I'll take it all. There was one. There was a gorilla. So she said. There was a there was a gorilla campaign where mm -hmm. uh for for the Anchorman two uh -huh. talk, which I want to talk about that. I want to ask you a question. I want to ask your opinion. But um it was a it, like you had to do a, a shout out and you had to wear your own you had to have a, a mustache, right? Okay. And and it, they were like, Well, it could be real or fake, and of course. But I was like, Oh man, 
I didn't have the balls to do it. Oh, you wanted to do it. No, no, no but I wanted, I wanted it. to have a, I wanted to have a, like a, you know, full bushy mustache uh, and then do whatever. But then at the end of it, just at the end, the two sides fall off. <laughs> and I just look at the camera mor- mortified and then it cuts. Like what if you like pounded the table really hard and right. it like I just I just went. go I just go into a ridiculous rant that sounds vaguely German and I'm screaming mm-hmm. and then I look up and the tips have fallen off and it's just the center one. <laughs> I didn't know how to engineer it. I didn't really have the balls to. But if that ever comes up again, if that ever pre- presents itself, I'll I'll do it. Or maybe that like maybe epic. next year for for No Shave November, I'll show up in a video like, "Hey, I grew myself a mustache," and then Can like. You? Well, no, it'll be fake. Oh, okay. But like, oh, man, it's no shave November, and then bam, I got a mustache. And then, oh, well, it's time to shave it, and then boop, and then I'm like, oh, and then I just finish it. <laughs> I think that would be cool. Because I like doing that, awesome. just throwing, just throwing, you know, just throwing random bones to the racist lefty just because I, I think it's that it's funny in that context where I just. You like it now. No, I don't like it, like. You know, all the time, like, ah, you're just racist, racist fuck. But you make, I, I said this to Woody the other day, like, mm-hmm. nowadays on PK, you call yourself out and make jokes about yourself and the racist lefty thing more than the act- the rest of the hosts mm-hmm. do. Yeah. And and every once in a while, I'll get a subtle thing. Like, Woody was talking about, I think, um, I think video cameras. Uh-huh. And he was talking about blah, 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 are the, the, are the blacks crushed or something like that. And then I just, I looked at the camera and I just went like that. Just to see, like, I I drop subtle hints during the show. Like, I think that's what I've started to do is just I'll, I'll be subtle about I saw you tweet one of those, too, on PK when I think Boogie said uh, his wife was making cupcakes. black and white cupcakes. And you, I saw somebody post in the Reddit, and then I went and watched the show. I finished watching it, and I looked down at the bottom like he did. He made a little kind of thing <laughs> right? when he said black and white, like, right. pff, together. I just think that's a that's a good medium between... You know, actually being making racist jokes and hoping people get that it's a joke and uh, and not acknowledging it at all. But okay, so my question. Go ahead. Ron Will Farrell as Ron Burgundy is literally everywhere right now. Yep. He's hosted well, he was supposed to host, host a, an edition of Sports Center, but that was cut short when the Jameis Winston um, sexual assault press conference was held. But he's 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 shown up in random towns and done the news. And he's in. He's he's pitching everything. Chevy commercial, right? Old Spice. And so my question is: Is Anchorman two gonna suck? I think I don't know if it'll suck, but it's just like with a lot of things, the hype machine is so big right now. Mm-hmm. It's getting to a point. It's really hard to live up to that much hype. Right. If it was just here's Anchorman two, I bet it would kill, and mm-hmm. it would probably earn a lot of money. Because right. people were waiting for it for a while. But given how much hype is around it, like it's the biggest thing ever. Like compared to the Marvels, that's how much advertisement is going around mm-hmm. about it. He's everywhere. It better be good. Ron Burgundy as or, or Will Farrell as Ron Burgundy is doing everything. And 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 it's just it in my head it's like, man, you wouldn't be this trying this hard to get people to show up to the movie if you weren't a little bit insecure about it. Mm-hmm. Right? Does that or maybe that's just a little bit too tinfoil hattish, but it's just it, like to me, it's like you know, if you're secure in your product, there's a there's there's a line between advertising, you know, and trying to generate some hype, and then trying to cover up a bomb mm-hmm. that you know is gonna just it's gonna stink to high heaven, but right. you got got to get people in the door, people in the door, no matter what, and it just seems by the fact that he's everywhere, it's like what do you? You've, you've got to be covering up a bomb, right? Or just He's either like covering it up or it's just so hyped up that it's just not going to live up to that level of expectations. Mm-hmm. You know, it may be a good film, but it's going to be like, I thought it would have been better given how much they talked about and sold and stuff like that. And mm-hmm. I've never seen Anchorman. What? Yeah. You've never seen Anchorman? Neither have I. Never, never seen it. Will Ferrell is very touch and go with me. Like, I like mm-hmm. the movie, the political movie he did with, um, what's his name? Uh, the fat guy Zach from Galifianakis. Zach Galifianakis. Yeah, Zach Galifianakis. Uh, the campaign. The campaign. I like that movie. No, yeah. it was funny. It's bad. Never seen it. it yeah, funny. don't. It's bad. But Will Ferrell, it's hard to name. I just don't. 
like I mean I only caught like the ending of Elf too. I've never seen Elf. I've seen like <laughs> Elf is good. No, that's a good one. What? Like Elf is good. It. It's like just a funny like get in the spirit of Christmas. Just haha. Talladega Nights is is the Talladega be Nights, all yeah. end all of Will Ferrell movies. That's it. It's Except it's downhill after that. I don't want to hear about old school. Old school had the other the the Wilson and and fucking Vince Vaughn to help carry it. Right. But Talladega Nights was Will Ferrell and and you know played off and he played off of John C. Riley and that was it. They tried to recreate it in Step Brothers. Step Brothers was fucking dumb. Once again, I've you know people are talking in the chat. Step Brothers. I've never seen that movie, Step and Brothers it's because he's. He's in it. I, I I know all the references it's, it's to it because people it's make them like, mm-hmm. let's go do karate in the garage. I know that whole right. skit. Never seen the movie Zoolander. I've never seen that movie either, but I know the turn left thing. I know that shit. <laughs> it's just Will Ferrell, man. I just, it's really hard to get me to watch. He plays a fucking idiot in just about every movie. You know what? The other guys was an underrated, stupid comedy. That I would want. I, I think almost, the. The other guys the is better on. than Step Brothers. The other guys and is better than Step Brothers because Step Brothers is just Talladega Nights too. That's all it is. It's John C. Riley and I, I Will Ferrell making stupid it. jokes. Well, it's not, isn't it? It's Mark Wahlberg with him. No, no, I'm talking about Step Brothers. Oh, Step Brothers. okay. Yeah, and I almost pulled the trigger on that one because that one looked funny, and it all said Mark Wahlberg. So if it was really bad, it's like, well, it's got Mark Wahlberg in it. I'll watch it. I still, I may actually after this go watch it, but That's good. it's just yeah. so. I don't like him. I think he's a fucking idiot. Well, I think I don't think he's an idiot because he's an actor. Mm-hmm. But he plays a fucking idiot in just about every movie, and it goes back to the comedian thing. It's like I get why other people find this funny because it does appeal to a certain classification of people that like that kind of humor. Mm-hmm. But I don't, and I don't know. It it's just boring or it, it, it aggravates me. Will Ferrell, just him. Well, the he's one, one thing he's actors. a what? What do they classify it in comedy? Is it a straight man? He's he's one of the he's one of the most. I think it's a straight man. The guys that that play a ridiculous character, but they do it with a straight face and never ever break character. Because that was his thing on SNL. He did right. that. And you, Jim Carrey. I think there was one guy. I think there was one. I, I only saw one skit where he almost lost it. It uh-huh. was when. Uh. I think it was the one where he was like, it was like the they were talking about the crazy patriotism, and he showed up. He was in like a, 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 a America themed thong. It was like an American flag thong, and in a business setting, and everybody. It was one of those skits where everybody else is losing it, mm-hmm. and they're all trying to get Will Ferrell to lose it. To laugh, yeah. But he like he he almost cracks, but he doesn't. But that I think it's called a straight. I think that 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 character is called a straight man. And he's one. Of, he's great at that character, but it just comes off as just like a you know the other guys. He was a he was a great straight character in that. You I don't think he had, he's ever played like the slapstick over like ha ha ha. On SNL, I liked him. I think he does or he did the um, he would be the Jeopardy host when they did Jeopardy uh, skits on SNL. Mm-hmm. And he did that really well. Yeah, he was Alex Trebek again playing the playing the straight the straight to yeah. to uh, what was his name Hammond Mark Hammond. As Sean Connery, mm-hmm. that was good. That was good. I like the one with Tom Hanks on it. It's a good one. What did Tom Hanks do? He's one of the contestants on Jeopardy with uh, as with, um, as Tom Hanks. As Tom Hanks, oh, yeah. Okay. And he was just doing stupid shit. Like you'd you'd cut away to Will Ferrell, you come back, and Tom Hanks's hand is stuck in a pickle jar. Hey, it's like oh, I've never seen that one. Why don't you just let go of the pickle? Uh, I want the pickle, and then cuts back and he's all in saram wrap and he slams his head during the final jeopardy thing and breaks his fucking monitor is a good one. Oh, okay I'll, I'll have to I'll have to look at that one never yeah. seen it and uh norm mcdonald Bam. is burt reynolds i saw that one it's a funny hat <laughs> it's funny because it's larger than a uh normal size hat <laughs> thank you norm mcdonald i don't also he's funny a he's apparently he's a, a... a riot on twitter is he norm mm-hmm. mcdonald yeah he he was he only had one he had uh like again he was the, he was a he was a backup in billy madison what was yep. his movie uh uh dirty work that was his only movie right or his only 
kind of decent movie. It was Dirty Work. Don't even think I've heard of it. And oddly enough, he had another fat guy with curly hair that he tried to play off of, like Will Ferrell. <laughs> but um, but yeah, Dirty Work was was Norm Macdonald. And after that, it was just like, okay, Norm, thank you. But he's pretty good. He was just one of Billy Madison's retarded friends, right? Yeah. In that movie? Mm-hmm. Okay, so I thought. I'm trying to remember. I haven't seen that movie in years. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't. No, that's a it good doesn't. Adam Sandler movie. It's good, but it doesn't. It's like it's not as but, funny as you thought it was. Like back in the day, yeah. like oh, he like there's a pants. lot of those. Like the I think, like uh, what is it? Big Daddy, right? Mm-hmm. That's a funny one. Don't know if I would die to go back and watch it, but the only one I can think of is uh, Happy Gilmore. Really like that one. Yeah. Okay, I can see that. I'll I'll, I'll side with you on that one. Happy Gilmore stands the test of time as a yeah. comedy. So do the Austin little Powers. Nikki. Does I like little Nikki. Yeah, Austin. I know you don't. Yeah, it's. A, yeah. But still, Happy Gilmore's way above it then. Yeah. Austin Powers um, never was. A, they were funny, but never a huge fan of it. Like, if you gave me two options, more than likely I wouldn't pick the Austin Powers uh, franchise. Hmm. I don't know. I haven't seen this. Hating on Austin Powers, huh? Yeah, hating on Mike totally Myers. hating on it. Hating on Mike Myers. He Basically. should just stick to stabbing people with a knife. <laughs> so I married an axe murderer? No, Michael oh. Myers. Oh, oh, oh okay. He, but uh, but M- Mike Myers was also in So I Married an yeah, Axe Murderer. Yeah, he was in So I Married an Axe Murderer. Also a pretty good, a pretty good underrated pretty good film. Yeah. yeah. Back when Comedy Central would just show comedy movies. You see... I'm old enough to the point where I remember when Comedy Central 1 showed comedy movies during the day. That was their daytime lineup. Pretty much was all Wait, comedy. there were two channels back when you were watching Comedy Central? No. You said Comedy Central 1. Did I? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you did. You did. did I say was? In you, a said came... one. You, you said, said one. You said one. Comedy Central 1? Yeah. Oh, wow. And you said they played that. movies in the day, so I thought there was... No, no, no. I remember like, when Comedy... would play this. No, no, no. Comedy Central played comedy lineups during the day and then they also they also had a lot uh the the catalog of snls they yep. the comedy central used to play snls back to back to back to back to back and it was fun it was i remember that too i used to watch that i mean that's how i found half the comics that are big nowadays which is why i feel that that's the only category of anything where i feel very hipsterish about like like oh i love zach galifianakis i'm like motherfucker i saw that dude do his 22 minutes on comedy central like seven years ago okay <laughs> i thought he was funny then right dane cook when dane, dane cook, cook had his, he had his black standard. sharp hair in that one yeah he did a uh, I think it's snake or a scorpion thing oh that yeah thing. that was poured water on him so oh he was talking about aliens that's why the alien movie yeah um that's where i saw kevin james's comedy special Mm-hmm. So what the small so stuff is pretty good, and then I learned that his brother wrote most of that. Kevin really? James just performed it. Yeah, wow. Kevin James apparently is not that funny. Like he's a funny guy, but he's not a comedy writer. He's a guy too in that category. I, I, he's where I want to see his new special. Mm-hmm. But once I've seen it, I'm done. I don't go back and watch Kevin James specials. If, he's funny, but what his comedy routine i don't know i'm not i don't die over it but someone like i don't know i could say carlin but that's an obvious one but there's a bunch of christopher titus is one Mm -hmm. i'll go back and watch a lot of his specials i've probably watched every single one at least six times i don't know just something about it i'll watch pretty much any comedy special at least once hopefully it's good aziz and sorry i can't say his name is on there as well i'll watch his Mm -hmm. but i won't go back and watch his Mm -hmm. He makes a lot of brown jokes, I know. He makes a lot of brown jokes. He did, in his most recent one, he talked about a documentary called Bully, and he I thought he was over-embellishing it and building mm-hmm. it up. He's like, yeah, this kid is like, I'm going to cut your face off and then wear your face, and then I'm going to kill you. And I'm like, wow, he's really playing it up. I went and watched that documentary on Netflix. He's being 100% fucking honest. <laughs> it is crazy. He's like, I'm going to punch your Adam's apple in, and that'll fucking kill you. And these are like 12-year-olds talking to each other on a bus ride. Wow. And he, there's a, he says, I'm going to cut your face off and wear it, and I'm going to kill your mom. Wow. Damn. And then I think, wow, I wasn't bullied. I maybe got picked on a little, but good No, God. that's bullying. Uh-uh. It's so bad. He's like, oh, yeah, he took a nail and slammed it into my head. It hurt. 
Yeah, it's kind of it, like crazy up. shit they say to each other. I remember in the first uh, in that guy's first special. It's uh, I can't say his name, and it, you know he probably sorry. loves that when white people try to play say his name and they fuck it up. It's so fucked and up. Just, but uh, he was talking about how he was in line to check out, and it's in. Uh, I'm sorry because we were talking about the Kevin James special, and he's from the East Coast, and a lot of people say this. It's in line, in formation. Okay, line is a formation. You're not online. There is not a physical line you're on. You're not online on the at the bank or online at the store. You are in line, which is to say you are in a formation of people awaiting service or whatever. I'm sorry. It just it bothers me. Line Does that really is bother a bother you? No, not bother. Are you me. doing his bit? No, oh, no, 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 no. Me? I'm just talking about you. Yeah, no, no, this is me that oh. I, some people say in line, other people say online. I always say in line, and I think it's the proper term. Because when you say line, you're not referring to like a physical thing. You're referring to a formation of things. There's no, probably some grammatical genius that's, that's going to be. Well, there. online is just shortened from on-line. No, no, no. Like, yeah. I'm online at the bank. I'm gonna look at this. But anyway, it's easy, the the first anyway, getting back to what I the first bit I saw, he was talking about how he was in line at the supermarket and he saw a guy buying a bunch of weird things. Like it was like a bottle of whiskey, a twelve pack of condoms, and a ten pack of of uh rewritable CDs. Or something. And he and then he launched oh, yeah. into this whole bit about how in my mind I was thinking about like, what is this man? I was trying to decipher why he's buying. Like he likes to party. And you know, he's getting right and it's like, Oh, he's gonna is he gonna have twelve different girls? Well he's only got ten CDs. What if he's a DJ? Only ten of those girls are going home with a disc. <laughs> and I was like, Oh, that's pretty that's a that's a pretty good bit. I like that. That you know, mm -hmm. just escalating everything at the end it was uh, it was really funny. He is fine. He's funny. Yeah. He's a, he is a pretty good dude. But um, yeah. so, do we have yeah. a verdict online? In line, I couldn't find anything. It just said I lost it. But it was like it's just a uh, term used for like telecommunications to s show that you are on the service or whatever. It doesn't mm -hmm. break it down any further as to why line and on are that. All right, I'm sure there is, but I'm fucking. I looked up online. Katie, one. look it up. You don't have a PC. <laughs> Need to get you a laptop. Telegraph. I do have Phonograph. 4G though. 4G go. Breaking live from cell phones. 4G LTE. The definition of why oh, online wait, no, I'm on is Wi-Fi now. Mm -hmm. I'm on well, wi get off no, of Wi-Fi. No, no, this no, needs to be a 4G good. LTE. No, because then we can license it and like sell it as a segment. Like Katie on, on AT&T 4G LTE. Okay, yeah, yeah. On the 4G LTE hotline, you know. Your service is horrible. AT&T is the largest 4G LTE network in the United States. I don't know what actually but is it's the not largest Sprint. 4G. Whatever. I don't even know if that's true. Everybody says we're, they're the biggest yeah, and best everything. The biggest. I think it actually might be Verizon though, just because of what they they do in the internet scene, and they have the they have to have towers everywhere and stuff like that. Yeah, maybe I don't know, but I've heard their customer service really is awful. Knows? It's like a Jerry Seinfeld did a bit. He's like, "Where are the bad doctors?" Because every time you hear somebody talk about a doctor, they talk about, oh, he was the top of this class, top of that class. He's <laughs> the best. Where are the bad doctors? Because somebody somebody is graduating from the bottom of these medical school classes. Where do they go? Yeah. Are they, they've got to be practicing medicine. They want, they're a doctor, but they graduate from the bottom. There's got to be a bad doctor somewhere. What should I type in to, like, in Google? Inline versus online. Inline versus online? Yeah, probably. Yeah, I just turned. It's probably going to be, like, inline skating online on the internet. <laughs> Uh, inline, inline skating. skating. Mm -hmm. It's the best Fucking way to go. Fucking fruit booters. No, it's not. <laughs> I have inline skates. What? In my car. I'm gonna get some. I'm gonna They're get. Expensive. I'm gonna get those that have like the little, the little, like space in the middle for grinding. Like I'm in the X Games. What? No. I will cut you. I'm gonna do it. I like skating, but only in roller rinks where the floor is nice, and there's no pavement to get a wheel stuck on. And eat mm, shit. Grammarist.com. Huh? Uh-oh. Hold on. Grammarist.com. Lefty is about to be vindicated. Vindicated! <laughs> Again, another thing, if we had a, if we had a, an instant replay to a machine, we could just, poop soundbite. We could have a... And then we could also pay, we could also pay, like, local artists to, like, do, like, a metal riff, like, vindicated! Well, that's an actual song. Oh, is it? 
Oh. That's what I was going off on. Really? Yeah. Vindicated. Somebody does I've been something. I've been wrong. Forget who does that. Somebody in the chat tell me. Uh, somebody says in the in the chat, Lefty, the jury has reached a verdict. In line is the correct form. Damn right. I don't even know who you Who's consulted for that. Yeah. <laughs> Guys like me, motherfucker. I've never heard right. anyone use like online at the same time. I, I swear people it say sounds, online. I was online stupid. at the bank. Watch the Kevin James comedy special. He does it at least once. It's, it's, people, it's an dumb. East Coast you're talking, But you're talking about people using it out of the sense of being on the internet. So you're right. saying, I would say I went in line at the bank. That's something I would say. Right. There okay, are some cool. people that say, like, I was online at the supermarket. Like, to, to, to say oh. they were waiting in a line formation, right. but they say online. Or you ah. say you get online at the bank. Not to mean you get on the internet, but you wait for a teller. Okay, so those people are just fucking stupid. Exactly! So when you were yeah. saying it, I thought you were referring to, like, me saying it. I'm online, Facebook. Oh, like, I'm, I'm in line at the bank, like, but I'm also on the internet. Yeah. Wow, I must have seemed like a fucking crazy person to you. All right. like I, you I kind of got switch. what you meant, but... I, I just... thought you wanted me to switch, like, I'm in line Twitter right now. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, I'm like, you're Literally fucking crazy. Literally physically being in line. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah. I think we can all agree on that. Mm-hmm. So, we got about 15 minutes left in the show. Um, we are going no ads today, by the way. Or not, not no ads, no breaks. Um, because I'm still figuring out stuff. What are you doing? The source corner. The source corner doesn't take 15 minutes. I know it doesn't, but it's coming up. <laughs> Why are you excited? Yeah, oh, you. Wow. Whoa! Wow. Thanks. Shots Thanks. fired. Oh, I'm gonna get it. Really? I'm gonna get. I got it right here. I'm getting it warmed up just for just for that. Shots freaking fired. Oh, it's just a question. Wow. So is it 2-0 in this set now? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Sets of five. This is Katie. If Katie wins, she takes this set again. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. 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 Just a reminder to everybody watching on Twitch if you're watching here, uh, be sure to hit that follow button. Also, uh, subscribe if you please. It's uh, it's it's four ninety nine for um uh, for a subscription. Funny games, wow! <laughs> For funny Just games, had an aneurysm right there. Dog pound. Well, you know, we talked. We started off the show like maybe you did I have a stroke. stroke. I actually did have a stroke. Yeah. All right, Katie. So here's the page you're gonna want to pick. All right. Don't even and the start word this. I'm not looking. That you want. Oh, Holy God. shit! If you if you choose law, you win. Let me see it. No. Can I see it since? I just. No! How is that cheating? What? It's not like it's a fucking. That's it. Aim work. for L. Aim for the L's. All right, this is, oh, this is where well, exactly. it is. Exactly, it's this super difficult. All right, that's well, that's difficult. I just want to see how big the page is. This is law at the bottom. Why do you... I can't... I have Oh, well, come to on. Can it. you share it to I the... Per- oh, shit, here. sorry. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, that is big. Oh, that's what I wanted to talk about. Twitter has changed the way you block people. They just awesome. did it today, actually. Breaking news! That's copyrighted. Oh, boy. Shit. <laughs> Damn it. Um, you just covered that. It was up until the point, uh, or normally, um, right or right now, or up until today, when you block somebody on Twitter, if they were following you, they immediately unfollowed you. No long, They were no longer able to refollow you, so they, they couldn't see your tweets in their timeline, um, whatever, et cetera, et cetera. Now... As of today, when you block somebody on Twitter, if they are following you, they are still following you and able to see your tweets in their timeline and interact with them normally. See, this I really like this feature, but you and I have both used blocking, and I learned this from you, to remove someone from following us so they wouldn't see our, our, mm-hmm. our tweets and stuff and forget about us. It's a way to surreptitiously remove, right, to, to, to forget somebody you know, if they're trying to heckle you or whatever. It's a way to right. surreptitiously like, get them out of your face. At least until they figure out to, to follow you again. But yeah, no longer. When you block somebody now, they will still be able to follow you and um, and read and interact with your tweets. So, so what's the point of blocking them then? What do, you keep your thing? follower number high. You keep your follower number high. No, I mean, just if it basically just makes the point of blocking Well, they can't interact. Well, they you, can't still, interact. you still don't see their interactions with you. You don't see them. Well, that's still dumb. But if you if you go to like your app mentions and like you you sign out and you go to your app mentions, they all show up. So 
essentially, but that would happen anyway. Yeah. If you block somebody and they still tweeted you, it would show up if you searched at whatever. But, you know, it's kind of like, why? This seems just like an odd change. It seems like a YouTube change. Mm-hmm. Like, just making a change for the sake of, well, we should change this because, etc. I don't, I don't get it. But for from henceforth, Twitter will be a weird well, blocking They got to start. Do you think that has anything to do with, because it keeps your numbers high. You don't lose anyone now. Mm-hmm. Do you think that has anything to do with Twitter's recent IPO and going public? So they want people to always have, even if they're inflated, higher numbers so it looks like there's more users on these individual profiles for selling ads on. I don't I don't know. How does Ooh. how does Twitter sell advertisements though? We need to uh well you can paid ads, so like an ad if you use normal Twitter, it doesn't happen on TweetDeck, so that's mm-hmm. probably they lose money on there, but you just see an ad. And I think it works like I forget. It has to do with like following people like mm. um whatever ad comes up it'll say like this person also follows it you should follow it too or something like that mm. it's not a very good model i think they break even or they lose money something like that they're not highly profitable i mm. wonder what their stock is at right now so i i don't but i don't know what could it be like what's the 50%. like we have to look at so so the big thing is that you are no longer removed from following somebody if they block you why right. would that be a big deal could it, does that have something to do with that people are still it's if it has to do with who follows what if, mm-hmm. if you're right if, if the advertisements are tailored to like oh well you follow this person et cetera et cetera here's an advertisement tailored to you then that's got to be it mm-hmm. that you know if you're blocked by somebody with a large amount of followers than you and then Twitter wants to you know tailor advertisements to you then up oh, you what. Oh, um, I just saw Rooster Teeth tweeted out a video. They did a video about uh, like Amazon uh, Air versus mm-hmm. uh, their own system, which in this video is a catapult. I'll watch it later. But I know of another video that a certain YouTuber is going yep, to do. Yeah, I know it too. You do? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. I just from Eastern Europe. Yeah. Far Eastern Europe or Far. Western China, I guess. Western China. It's a big ass fucking country. It is. It expands into two continents. Yeah, it should be good. I I can't wait for that video. I'm very excited. Unlike Fat Lincoln, it'll actually happen. Well, (laughs) hopefully it will actually happen. Yeah. It should. I mean... It should. The wheels are moving. Wheels in the sky keep on turning. Uh, That's an acapella. It's an acapella. I can monetize that. It's not not protected Mm -hmm. under copyright. Oh, and by the way, do people realize that my video talking about, you know, the the copyright, the one that we made Chiz watch in the pre-show, that, like, because I had two people come to me like, you know, your your video is actually factually wrong. Any law school in the country would tell you that. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, you realize that I wasn't trying to teach people about copyright law. It was, it was to show how absurd it is to be an absolute slave to the idea of copyright and intellectual property law. That's the point. But they were like, oh, YouTube isn't actually saying that if you sound like somebody, they'll content ID flag your video. Well, no shit. <laughs> you dumbass. Duh. So dumb. Putting color in your video isn't protected by cro- copyright or trademark. Duh. What if it was? What if it was? Because you can't. It was funny. They actually had to say, like, some people were trying to uh, patent math. You cannot patent math. Mm-hmm. So when it, I don't know. I say, wouldn't it? You can't, you know, but... Paris Hilton has a trademark on that's hot. That's hot. What, the words? The words if that's they're ever hot. together. Now, is it Paris verbally Hilton, or Aaron, just together? If you use it, I, I think it's I think it's if, if you use it in any connotation because it's copy, it's intellectual property. You can't just... Now, how is that fucking legal in any sense? That's exactly... The whole system has been utterly <laughs> perverted to the point where some dumbass can trademark that's hot and technically has a claim against anybody that uses it. I think she used it, actually, too, against, like, Perez Hilton, I think. Like, she sued him. Well, that's just drama. That's just catfighting. But it's just, it's like, what? And, just, you know, I, I know people are like, well, Lefty Apple had a lot more grievances. And Apple trademarked this! This! Yeah. They trademarked 
this and this and a square and phone. A square, a square yeah. phone. What are you talking about? You can't trademark a fucking shape. <laughs> oh, nay, nay. Well, uh, misses. Are they going to be the thing in the future? Oh, my God. But it's just. But. No. That's again, adhering to technicality. Donald Trump has your fired. Donald well, Trump, right? There's a lot of claims against any boss. Yep. Then. Exactly. It's 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 insane. It's ridiculous, and that's why that's the whole point of videos like mine is to be, be like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the letter of of the copyright law, technically, I guess a let's play is an infr infringement of copyright. But is it really? Think about what copyright was originally intended to be. Not carte blanche to you profit from whatever you own forever, but right. People can't. People aren't just going to reprint people that are in a better position than you to. To profit, like if if I have a great idea, right, or or, or uh, a great story, but I don't have a publisher, but some other writer that does have a publisher ready to go, writes my same story, well, he can't he he shouldn't be rewarded just because he's in a better spot. It's the same idea of patents. Just mm -hmm. because you have a factory to make your cotton gins doesn't mean that you can just steal my shit. Right. That's the whole point. But, but then we, there's also a fine balance of, you know, patent, they're abused both ways. They're abused in the sense that they can, uh, hmm. well, I was going to say patent trolls. That's what I'm getting at. You well, know, right. you could just eat up any patent and copyright you want and then know it, even mm -hmm. if you have the ability to ever, you, you just won't use it. Same thing with domain squatting and shit like that. Mm -hmm. But I think, you know, think about, is it like, is, is me making a let's play or anybody making a let's play? reasonably going to un to infringe on the ability of the copyright holder to profit from their original work is me doing a let's play of assassin's creed really going to inflict ubisoft's ability to make a profit on their work are people really going to confuse the copy of assassin's creed at target with my let's play on youtube no there's absolutely no way and i don't want to hear your anecdotal stories well maybe one person just watches it for the story no it's a video game the whole point is to interact with it. Watching me interact with it is is different, right? Completely. There's there's, there's no way that's an an actual infringement of the of the idea of copyright. But again, technically, now let's adhere to the technicalities of fucking everything. Well, okay, then we arrive at a point where you can't look like a celebrity, or you can't sound like a celebrity, or you can't say you're fired or that's hot. Well, there you go. That's the whole point. It's absurd. It's ridiculously absurd. It's it's. That's why it's called a reductio ad absurdum. That's the whole point. The source corner. The source corner. The source corner. Wow. Really? Are we in the club doing the source corner? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and getting tipsy. Club edition. I was actually just thinking Bill Nye the Science Guy. Bill Nye the Science Guy. I just saw he put out a video <laughs> about the Barack space. Obama. Yeah, the space thing, right? Yeah. Good what for you, Bill, Bill Nye. Yeah. You're still a thing. I like that. The I internet like has shit. revived your career because you kind of went away for a bit. I went away for a bit, but thanks to the internet, internet is really or YouTube is really good when it comes to things like we talk about all the trolls and it's big on music, mm -hmm. but it's big in science and stuff and math as well. Mm -hmm. Very successful in those yep. fields. Wasn't he on all Dancing right. with the Stars? He was on Dancing with the Stars. Mm -hmm. He was pretty good too, from what I saw. Mm -hmm. He was decent. Yep. Yeah. I was surprised. All right, so Katie, you hold sway. You hold uh, court. Yeah. Is it, uh, are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Katie goes first. I'm shooting for the L's. Stop. No, we're close. Eh, yeah, well, I was just kidding. I wasn't. Really All right, so there's a, there's a proverbial sea of landmines here. Better be careful. Left right, right side. Panel. Okay. Second from the top. Second from the top. Yeah. Oh, come on. The word is entice, verb. If you mean entice, you can also say lure, allure, attract. Cool. What is up with Boom. three? You need a different... Okay, we're buying another weird. one. <laughs> well, stop right. saying second from the top. Like When's like the last I'm... time you said fourth from the top or fifth from the bottom? I don't know, What's the I last don't know how many words you... there are on a page. Just take a shot in the dark, baby girl. You, all right, you, Katie's on three. Chiz, your turn. You ready? Oh, well, I'm sorry. Yeah. This one. Yep. yep. Chiz is on my second camera. Stop. Ooh. Nope. Can I get a letter? Uh-uh. No. Oh. Duh. Well, afterwards. It's in well, the I'll rules. It's I'll in the out. rules. It's just been added. All just right. been added. All right. Third from 
the right page top. Messed that all. Oh, 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 oh. We got ourselves a ball game. God damn it. The word is grieve, verb, if you mean grieve. You can also say lament, bewail, or sorrow for. <laughs> oh, this fucking sucks. <laughs> this the source is rigged. <laughs> I think they just like gave up. Like, yeah, we're just gonna put three on those ones. Don't worry like, about it's it. a good rule of thumb. They got lazy. Ah, uh, John, you gotta at least get three for each word. Three is like, acceptable. Fuck, two. Grieve. That's the quota. Oh my god! All right. Bewail. I'm gonna write that down. Use that. So wait, I got a B. No, but. You got, a, you got was, three. That was a word. The, one yeah, of the words was bewail. Oh, what was the word again? Grieve. Verb. Oh, I got a G. Wow. I went halfway and I wasn't even near the L's. <laughs> Katie, are you ready? Mm-hmm. Make it, make it good. Stop. All right. Left side. Uh-huh. Fourth from the bottom. <laughs> the word is discord. Noun. If you mean conflict when you say discord, you can also say strife, contention, dissension. If you mean noise, you can also say din, tumult, and racket. So that's six. Mm -hmm. Chiz, you need six to win. No, I need seven to win. Seven to win, six, six to, tie. to tie. Force. What do we do for overtime? A sudden one? death. <laughs> yeah. Wait, but we only get one. Oh, sudden death. All right. One word. All right. Chiz, are you ready? Yes. Come on, come on, come on. Stop. Nope. Not on else. <laughs> I didn't think so. Went halfway and got to G's. Um, left side, second from the top. The word is hopefully. Mm. If you mean hopefully, you can also say, or if you mean optimistically when you say hopefully, you can also say confidently, expectantly, with confidence, with hope, trustingly, and... Uh, Naive, naively, what? with some reassurance, N I or N A I V E L Y, naively, naively, whatever. Why are you just adding fingers, Chiz? What's going on with this? I don't know where we're at right now. Sorry. Words. All right, just then we're at over. six. Naively, start over. No, start over, redo, please. Redo. All right, confidently, expectantly, with confidence, with hope, trustingly, naively, naively, with some reassurance, trustfully. Oh, really? There's what? more. Oh, there's there's a, more? Yeah, and then there's that oh, antithesis. Wow. I was going to say that hopeless, was really close. Hopelessly, doubtfully, gloomily. If you mean probably, you can say expectedly, conceivably, feasibly. You should have just left it at I lost by two because that would have been fun. So it's two to one in the set. Chiz walks away victorious. Ooh, kind of. After sidestepping Chizzing himself right in the face. <laughs> Honestly, the probability of hitting a three is like 85%. Yeah, it's like all of them are threes except for a few. <laughs> yeah. We're going to get you a new one of those. It's, you I want got a me big this one. one. I know. We're going to get you a new one. All right. We? A big one. Yeah. Who's we, sucker? It's a joint decision. Well, fine, then. Deal with three word. You whatever. deal with it. You're the one that no. keeps stepping in them. No, Chiz was. We, this, this book is here all the time. You need to, you need to come in, into my office and study. That's what you need to do. You need, to, you need a, mo a training montage. <laughs> of you just like looking up the words, of memorizing yeah, words, like memorizing like they're they're diff they're like where they are. And, like, she's the got the countdown. book in her. She just closes her eyes and hears the pages going by. <laughs> Seven, stop. Right, she's <laughs> got it. There you go. She's like a code breaker. Uh, but anyway, guys, we're gonna end the show there. We thank you all for for coming. If you're watching on YouTube, be sure to hit the like button. The favorite button as always helps me out. Subscribe if you please. Go to YouTube.com/slash Doctor Coffee MD. It's been a while since I've said that. Chiz yeah. is doing a cold reboot, um, his own a, a self-inflicted boot camp. Go check that out. Always watch him stream at twitch.tv slash lefty643. If you're watching on Twitch, hit the follow button. It's free. If you want to subscribe, it's four ninety nine. You get access to uh, subscriber-only chat, subscriber-only giveaways. You get a cool little chat badge and custom emoticons that you can take anywhere on Twitch. So it's totally worth it. Uh, four ninety nine monthly. Uh, but uh, anyway, guys, that's our time. we got to get out of here. Thank you for joining. We hope you enjoyed. We are out. Peace. Take to the butt. Hey guys, it's Le <laughs> welcome to that's not why you called episode twenty five. Oh, so more um, awkward intros because I again 
didn't charge the thing that has the intros on it. And I'm using OBS to stream it, and OBS's scene features are not um, are not what they could be. And so, yeah. Yeah, that's a thing. So we're episode 25, right? I got that right? Yep. 25. That right? 25, 25. And now up on half of a year mark, technically, if you use numbers alone. But we're getting, I think we've already passed a year of actually doing this. Have we? Because I think episode I think two it was, was late the, December. Yeah, because episode, yeah, we might have a couple more days. But episode two, mm -hmm. I don't remember, I don't ever forget episode two. That was the 21st of December. Uh -huh. I was in California at the time visiting family, and internet went out. In episode two, was where Lefty was alone. Mm -hmm. and he was a d bag. Oh yeah, okay. So we're coming up on close. Uh, by the way, Woody just messaged me asking you uh, to put Mark in Kickassscrew TV. I don't think Woody realized that we were doing a show, but and also we're so, live. We're live, Woody. We're live. We're live. Why? <laughs> First she plays Minecraft during PK. And now oh my it's god! I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm stealing, freaking, his uh, boogie's bit. So yeah, that that conversation may have showed up. Oh, there wasn't right, anything. Francis. Yeah, <laughs> boogie's gonna file a content ID claim against me. Ooh. Well, he can. It's pretty damn easy nowadays. Right? And that's the f that like they put. You, you don't even have to. Yes, this is me. Give me the advertising revenue from this video. Because I say so. And Google's like, or YouTube's like, okay. Uh, we get to watch Chiz admitting. Put put him in, Chiz, goddammit. I'm doing it. I'm doing failure. It. I'm doing it, and we're done. So Tell Woody you interrupted the show, too. Minecraft. Will you tell him? I don't, I'm not on anything, any kind of form of communication device. Just say it's done. <laughs> we're good. Uh, Drop it from here. So, Lefty, what is the IP of Woodycraft? What? What is the IP of Woody Crap? Uh, Twitch.tv slash Lefty643, where you can find the live episodes Fun of, games. of That's Not Why You Called. You know what? Because Woody didn't buy... PKA is, is like primarily <laughs> Woody's show, so he can do that, but he doesn't get any free advertising here. He doesn't get any. Woody, if you want me to advertise the PK, the, 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 the Minecraft server, you got to pay me. At least a quarter pay of... Pay me, bitch. Yeah. Give me my money. Pay that man his money. <laughs> so... Um, yeah, twitch.tv slash lefty643 is where you're at right now. But if you're watching this on YouTube and you're like, hey, I'd really like to see that's what you called live. I want to see what that's like. Well, you can come to uh, twitch.tv slash lefty643 Thursday, 7 p.m. Central Time. And that's where the live shows are. And if you come 30 minutes early, 6.30 p.m. Central Time, there's subscriber-only chats. And you can subscribe for $4.99. It's totally worth it. So, yeah. Yeah. I think I, I want to find a game to... Chiz just did. A whole lot of people just resubscribed. Yep. So thank you to everybody that's done that. Thank you to Chiz. You're welcome. Because uh, I don't Chiz want Lefty to. to starve to death. Nope. He needs no. stuff. I'm very weak. You haven't gotten I'm robbed vagina. yet. You haven't gotten robbed I yet. I have not gotten robbed yet, but I mean, <laughs> you know, it's... You should I, really think about not bringing your camera on your walks, I think. If, I bring it, it, but I only pull it out in, in very populated areas. Like from my house, I'll... That's why I don't do I the first day one you mm -hmm. see me walking at the beginning and then in the middle I don't do that anymore because that's where I'll get mugged, <laughs> so that's why the next one is near a fucking shopping center mm -hmm. and I'm outside of a Petsco and there's light out there so mm -hmm. I only do it in safe areas but unfortunately because of the area I live in I don't get to listen to music or anything because mm -hmm. I don't have earbuds I can hide. Ah, uh, okay. Because yeah. if I was about to say if your net or if your <laughs> network if your <laughs> If you're well, I guess it is a network. Like your if your your subdivision or wherever you live is like yeah. kind of a network of sorts. But if your area is any is half as bad as you make it out to be, you should definitely not be bringing electronics out. Like, yeah, especially when I'm in no physical condition to avoid being mugged. Yeah, well, it's, especially after walking, it's like I'm defeated. Well, I don't know what kind of physical condition you need to be to avoid being mugged, though, because unless well, you're like running. a Navy SEAL. Well, running. Oh, okay. that's the one I thought. But of. if they've got a gun, you're not. Well, then there's run. no running or physical thing. It's just here's the camera. You know. Yeah. You can have my water bottle too, if you really want it. You're setting insult to injury at that point, though. <laughs> you're like, but I'm really tired. Please, I'm, <laughs> I'm out of breath. Thirsty. All right, you've already done mugging. Do you really want to add attempted murder by taking my water bottle? Mm-hmm. That's right. 
So you're going to stick with this. Now, what inspired you to, uh, to go on with this whole cold reboot thing? Not only, not only um, um, doing it, but bringing it to YouTube and, and bringing it back and being like, I'm going to upload to my YouTube channel again. Because uh, I don't think I want to do like you. I, don't, I wish I could do Let's Plays, but I just, with everything YouTube's doing, it's a no. And then two, it's just I'm not, I've never been a Let's Play channel, and it's a hard switch, so it wasn't going to get views anyway. Mm -hmm. But I just did gameplay commentary, so why not just do it in a vlog format? So that's what I was going to do anyway, mm -hmm. debated coming back. And forcing myself to make a video every day doing it, keeps my ass in line and actually having to go work out until I get to that point where I want to mm -hmm. work out. So it's keeping my own ass in line. Hmm. And I was inspired by the FPS boot camp videos. Oh, well, that's good. That is good. Mm -hmm. I'm going to lift heavy things <laughs> like a car. That's what I'm going to do for day 30. I'm going to bench car. press a car. Nice. Yeah, it'll be a Toyota, though. <laughs> a Toyota is still pretty pretty heavy. Just because uh, I may cars in it. general. <laughs> Yeah, cars in general, kind of heavy. Tend hmm. to be, tend to, yeah, they tend to be pretty. Maybe heavy. I just push it. I, I really wanted to do that. I wanted to just drive to a secluded parking lot. But like I said, I'm in an area all around, like the city, so I don't know what secluded parking lot I want to go to where me, I'm pushing a car that's in manual. Mm -hmm. Hold on, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mute a few things. Hold on just a sec. All right. Uh, I was getting some random crackling. I don't know what that's from. Uh, I think it was from the Google Hangout because that's when it about started, right? It's when Chiz, what? It's only when yeah, Chiz it's talks. When he was talking. You don't hear it when I talk. No. Okay. So it's probably from the Google Hangout. But we'll see if that works. Um, but yeah, we should be we should be good now. I apologize. Bare fingers. Nope, we're not. Never mind. I don't even know. Fuck Google. Fuck it. Why? <laughs> I don't know why it does it. No clue. Why do you suck? Yeah, right? And everything Thanks, they Google. do and is... Uh, Thanks, is, Google. Like, Gmail, good. Although kind of getting stupid with the social thing because it's like, hey, let's integrate your Gmail with Google+. Plus. You don't like it? Fuck you. But um, pretty much everything else, bad. Just kind of... Kind of bad. Kind of kind of pretty bad. But I guess there's nothing you can, uh, you can really do. So... I type something to think about for later. <laughs> uh, oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, we Boom. can do that. Science. Good call. Consider it. And now I have two webcams. You do. So that would so work. So you can see, see me, and then the stream gets the C920. Yes, they get 1080p. I get... Well, no, they no, 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 they get 720. They because I'm not streaming oh. the, the I'm not streaming out the show in 1080. It looks be. really sharp. Like it's 720, but it looks really sharp on this. There. This webcam is it's nice. It's like I don't even know how Microsoft continues to justify charging just ten dollars less than what Logitech does for this webcam. Because I think for those of you that are, that are wondering, I have the Logitech C920 webcam, and I have the Microsoft Live Cam Studio, which is supposedly the biggest and baddest webcam that Microsoft makes, at least for consumers. Um, and the Logitech webcam just blows it out of the water. It just absolutely yeah. just destroys it. But they're both similarly priced, which mm -hmm. is odd. And usually, obviously, if you're a free market economist, you would think, well, at some point, people would figure out that they're not getting the same performance out of the Microsoft Life Cam as they would for the Logitech C920 for just about five, ten bucks more. But no, Microsoft is still like, yeah, sixty nine ninety nine for the Life Cam HD webcam, which is only a five megapixel webcam that does seven twenty barely, it uh, at barely thirty frames per second. Sometimes not even that. It can't even maintain that. It cannot do 1080p video at more than 15 frames per second. And But the, then there's a Logitech C920, which is a 15 megapixel webcam and does full 1080p at 30 frames per second. Yeah, I should have jumped on that deal <clears throat> when you did. I didn't because I had a, I have a C910, and, you know, it's not anywhere near as good as yours. One, I don't have lighting, but even just comparing it without lighting to mm -hmm. what I see that no one else can, your life cam, it's still better. Like, I get pixelation. I always have. I think it's broken or I dropped it or something, so I should have grabbed a C920. Yeah. Well, it'll Big probably difference. go on sale again. It, probably. Especially as the holidays approach, it'll it'll continue to exactly to go on sale. Go <laughs> on the, sale. Don't you feel like... I kind of felt bad when I did it. Why? Because it was very clear why the Logitech C920 was on sale. 
It's like, here, buy this for your family members, right? And I'm oh, like, oh, yeah, you bought it for yourself. I want that for myself. I'm going to get it for myself. I almost some stuff goes on sale. I buy it for myself sometimes. Mm -hmm. Just and I don't even need it. It's just like wow, that is a killer sale. I would have no use for this, but maybe some point down the road I will. Mm -hmm. Like especially on hardware stuff. Does this mean that I can buy something expensive for myself? This was forty nine ninety nine. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you because Katie wants to buy herself a monitor. Okay. Yeah. What's wrong with that? I want to buy myself a lot of things. <laughs> but I can do it. <laughs> We just spent four hundred dollars on a mattress, babe. A really freaking nice one. I know, but you can't go around and be like, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna spend two hundred bones on myself." Why not? Because I didn't do that. I could have. Yeah. But I didn't. Yeah. GTX 680. I needed that. <laughs> she got a 580 out of it. I, I net, I only spent like 150, 200 dollars. <laughs> I needed that. I did. I could justify a monitor expenditure for myself because what? my business is made oh with computer Lord. components. You, on the other hand, <laughs> but, okay, that's so, a luxury expenditure. Yeah, that I worked hard for the money to get that. <laughs> she works hard for the money. You do work <laughs> really? hard for the money. <laughs> so, so hard for I the think, money. You know what? You work hard for the money, do you want me to hit and you? I'm going to treat you right. <laughs> All right? I swear to God. But, you just, you Stop. can't, ow, she, Good. ow, you deserve that, wow, all right, you were poking and you, you were, I didn't poke, there was no poking, <laughs> none, not a single poke, are you a poker, I'm not a poker, okay, that means you're a puncher, <laughs> <laughs> don't make me do it, do it with an open hand, that'll keep you out of jail, Still yeah. want hit him with a phone book so it doesn't leave any bruising, wow, yeah, that's from something, but I don't remember what. Well, it's like that's always a cliche, but if I hit you hard enough with a phone book, you're gonna no, bruise. It'll leave, yeah, it'll leave a bruise. It's gonna, it's gonna, bruise. it's gonna just be a big bruise. What does hitting somebody mm -hmm. with a phone book actually accomplish? Especially because that laminate stuff, like that's really like if I punch somebody in the face, mm -hmm. I'm not leaving fingerprints on them. But if I hit them with an object, I have to put fingerprints. Blah, 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 blah. So if I just well, you can burn the phone book, you can't burn your fist, and yeah, it won't leave fingerprints. Good. But the reason you'd use an object is because it leaves a definitive mm. fist mark on your face. People aren't made of putty; that goes away. Yeah, but the bruise is there for a couple days, and if she's gonna talk, which there you oh, go. Oh, okay, yeah, we're talking about the domestic abuse thing still. Yeah, yeah, because then it's a phone book <laughs> thing. Like, oh, she just fell; she's yeah. drunk all the time. Exactly, fist is hard. Oh, she fell on a <laughs> pull cue. <laughs> a pole ball, sorry, not a pole cue. Wow. Yeah, yeah, that was... We have a fist sculpture, and she fell on it. <laughs> and it would, uh... We have a bust of uh, Bobby Kennedy's fist, and she just landed right on it in a drunk it, super. It we have a miniature time. of that stupid thing in Detroit. Wait, did you just downtown. make a pun over there? What did she say? Katie? I just said it what? wouldn't be a bust then. That's all I said. Oh, is that... Okay, so a bust is only over the face. Oh, yeah, I thought it's like she said something. Up. Like, There's mm, a point of it bust because bust is another. And so Katie statue. kills the joke when she starts arguing semantics. Thank you. I, yeah, I'll just be quiet now. Thank you. <sighs> she, she's right there. She's your girlfriend. Mm -hmm. I mean, can you do something about this? What was the name of that chick that ruined the Beatles? Uh, fucking Yoko Ono. Bitch. Katie. Yoko over there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to start calling you Yoko. Oh, that'll That's, go well. I am getting a death glare you would not believe right now. Oh, I believe it. Like it, I feel like this part of my face feels warmer than this That's part of my face. That's just a universe. You call any woman a Yoko, she knows what it means. That name just has a bad connotation behind it. I'm in Unless so you're much with trouble. someone dumb enough that doesn't know the Beatles, in no, which case, then she uh, won't get the reference. No, she's. Uh, Is the side of your head beginning angry. to smoke? Yeah, she's. She is imagining doing very bad things to my brain right now. Probably. <laughs> I'm just saying, babe, don't ruin the Beatles. Okay. I was willing to let it. Slide. Who was she? Was she well, YouTube, uh, my my network and YouTube are giving me the old fist in the bunghole. So um gotta that's find nice. some other uh find some other you, the fist in the Yeah, no, that's like no that. no. <laughs> the, well technically it, technically it's like this. Stop. And then, and oh, then, yeah. no. oh you would know it's, it's like this. Is that how that works? I've been on it's, the internet. 
Oh, so that's what you do all day. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> watch his fisting videos. Like I, I watch for <laughs> technique. What I do, if I you watch and I me. judge <laughs> technique. Okay. Okay. Like, do you and have I try those to... little cards? Like no, the, no, 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 no. I like, are you like I, John Madden. Are no, you I like shout. Right, exactly. I shout cast <laughs> the fisting porn. No, you see there, right there, right there. The, the right there is there's a fist in the short. butthole. Okay. Brett Favre okay. would have thrown the no, Brett Favre. Brett Favre would have put his hand like this, but no, he did like this. And you're not going to get any penetration going like that. Mm -hmm. No, Brett Favre. You don't just you don't just go asshole. punching people's buttholes, kids. It's mm -hmm. not how yeah, it's not how that. it works. You gotta you know you know you gotta work it in there. A normal oh member of society knows the technique, all right? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, Hunt287 uh, Hunt just subscribed? Really? Did I miss yep. that? Well, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the Dog Pound. We got fun and games. Woo! Woo! I need to get... I need. We, we need an actual... We need that instant replay two machine so that I can have the Ric Flair woo on here and just be clicking and go, woo! And then I'll get flagged for content. And we're only going to get there if you subscribe. We're only going to get there if you subscribe, if you like, and if you favorite. That's the only way we're going to get there. Because we're not going to get there through video views. No, so, YouTube is dead. That's <laughs> yeah, dead as dicks. That's uh, that's what we're what we're going to do. But I want to kick off the show talking about Chiz because uh, you uploaded a video three days ago now. No, called Cold I Reboot. Videos. I watched I don't it. Do videos. I watched it. I did. Okay. And uh, well, the, the Cold Reboot. Which which came first? There was a one where you announced your intentions, and then Cold Re Cold Reboot Two was the first action video. Day one. Oh okay. Um, oh Cold Reboot, and then there's Cold Reboot Day One, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Chiz is making a triumphant return to YouTube, at least for the time being, until he gets bored of it. But he's trying to uh, he's he's putting himself through a self inflicted boot camp of sorts. And uh, how's that going so far? Good. I like it. Twitch or uh, YouTube.com. <laughs> YouTube.com. That's what you should do. You should live stream workouts. I honestly debated. Like, I talked to people about this. Like, because um, YouTube, well, one, first the affiliate thing came up. Mm -hmm. And factor in the sub box is not working 50% of the time and just shit like that. I was like, has anyone just made, like, YouTube content edited? Like, not a re-upload of something, but edited something like a show and then broadcasted it as if it was live onto Twitch mm -hmm. and then tried monetizing it through there. Because I debated doing that because I'm more active on Twitch than YouTube, at least before I started doing it, and Twitch works. Mm -hmm. So I was wondering about that. But yeah, uploaded video every day of the week. One just went live like an hour ago. So you've been uh, So you've been working out trying to... Get back into the saddle of a of a diet. How's that? How are the workouts going? The workouts are good. I mean, I like walking and stuff, and it does get tiring. Mm -hmm. uh, all of the strength related stuff, push ups, balls, heavy things hurt. My stomach still hurts for some reason. So that's mm -hmm. core stuff, I guess. But yeah, it's it's good. I get out in the morning, walk two two and a half miles, bike stuff like that mm -hmm. for the cardio. The strength.